Hi guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. So today I have a highly requested video to share with you guys. It has been requested that I do an updated Louis Vuitton collection video. So I asked you all on Instagram, you guys voted, and without a long shot, it was voted that I do it in two parts. So today I am here to share my handbag collection with you guys. We have lots to cover, so let's get started. And I would just like to say I have reviewed several of these bags, and bags that I haven't reviewed, I did do an unboxing and maybe a mini review on. So I will list down below and actually link the video if I did do a video on that particular bag, and I will also try to mention it. So let's get started. So first, I'll start with my speedies, and as you guys know, this is the biggest part of my collection. So the first Speedy I have to share with you guys is one of my absolute favorites, and this is the limited edition monogram mirror, Speedy 30 in gold. I absolutely love this bag. As you guys can tell, it's a very shiny. I'll try to keep it at this angle so it doesn't blind you guys, because it is literally a mirror. It will pick up its surroundings as well as your reflection. This bag is just such a showstopper. It is very, very rare, which is why it's very special to me. But you can't go wrong with silver and gold, which is why I absolutely adore these pieces. It has the wonderful pocket on the exterior, which is really, really unique. And I did do a video on this bag. I did actually review it. So the beautiful monogram mirror, Speedy 30 in gold. Love it. The next Speedy I have to share with you guys is another one of my favorites, and as you guys know, I am a limited edition freak. So this is the gorgeous Steven Sprouse Graffiti Speedy 30 in Fuchsia. Absolutely love this color. I love pink in general, and this is such a gorgeous color of pink. It is wonderful to take with you to go shopping or just any type of casual experience. I take this bag with me a lot and it really, really is frequently in my rotation. Just so much fun. The graffiti print all over the monogram. Wonderful pop. And it fits all of my essentials. I absolutely adore it. The Graffiti Speedy 30 in Fuchsia. Next is a very, very special bag. And I am referring to the beautiful watercolor Speedy 35. And mine is in the white. This is a go-to bag for me in the spring and the summer without a doubt. I absolutely love it. And this bag really is a true work of art. No two watercolor Speedies are the same. And I love that about them. The beautiful colors. Just can't go wrong. Pops with any outfit. My favorite to wear it with is pink, such as the shirt I'm wearing today. This would be a perfect outfit that I would wear with this bag. And the 35 is pretty large. This is my only size 35. And I got it in the 35 because this limited edition line, it was basically known for the size 35. The 30 is available, but it's more rare. So they made more of the size 35, and I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to try it. I do like it, however, I prefer the 30 a little bit more. This bag is very, very large, which is great, but for me, a little bit too large. But nonetheless, one of my favorites, the watercolor Speedy in size 35. Sorry guys, I might escape the frame for a moment there because I have my bags everywhere. <laughs> Next, <clears throat> excuse me, is another very special bag that I absolutely love. I hunted forever and I'm so happy to have it. And this is the beautiful Eclipse Speedy in size 28. And this bag came with both black and gold sequins. I chose the gold because I felt that it really, really popped. And I just love the beautiful calfskin leather in black on this bag. There are some silver details, which just really, really make the bag pop. And this beautiful hotel-inspired zipper pull is amazing. 
Again, this is the size 28, and I do have to downsize a bit when I carry this bag, but not a whole lot. It's still a very generous size. So, And I did review this bag as well. So the beautiful Eclipse Speedy 28. Next, we have a Speedy that is shared between myself and my daughter. And that would be the beautiful Mini HL Speedy in white multicolor. This is the only bag that I own in the white multicolor, so it is very special to me. And I did get this bag for my daughter just to start her collection, which she will obviously be handing down my bag someday. And she really does enjoy this bag. It is very, very cute, but we do share it. So absolutely adorable. It has a nice little honey patina. And this bag is good if you just want to run an errand, maybe run to the grocery store. You can fit your iPhone and maybe just some cash and cards in there and a clay. Uh, very, very minimal, but adorable. Definitely special to have. And particularly for a Speedy lover like myself. So the Mini HL Speedy in the white multicolor. Next, we have the beautiful Kusama Speedy 30 in the white I love this bag. The Kusama collection was just such a awesome collaboration in general, but I chose white for mine because white is probably the most versatile of all the prints, and I love them all. I do. I have the blue bag charm to pop with my bag, but this bag is just, oh my gosh, I can't even explain it. It just looks good with virtually any outfit, believe it or not. You would think that the polka dots would be very loud, but they actually aren't due to the fact that this bag is white. And I just love, of course, the overlay of the polka dots and that monogram print peeking through. It's just so much fun. So one of my most favorite casual bags, the Kusama Speedy 30 in white. Next we have my newest Speedy that I'm absolutely loving, pardon my reach. And that would be the limited edition from summer 2015, Ramages Speedy 30. I am in love with this bag. I was on the list for this bag for months. I it was love at first sight. I know this bag was controversial at first. And a lot of people still aren't crazy about it, which is okay. Not every print is for everybody. But when this bag came out and people were starting to see it in person, they realized it's true booty, beauty, booty, <laughs> beauty, because photos do it no justice. So I absolutely love the colors. Again, perfect for summer, the beautiful hot pink, the beautiful coral. I do have my luggage tag on there because it is rather new. So I'm hoping these two will patina together, but I've been using this bag a lot and absolutely enjoying it. It is just the perfect pop to any outfit. So the Ramages Speedy 30. Pardon me guys again, as you can see my display case is empty so I have all of my bags sitting around me here and I'm just trying to make room for the others that I'll be bringing in. So that covers all of my Speedies. So next I'll go over my Almas. So next we have my vintage Alma PM in the monogram print. This bag is 20 years old. You would never know it. It's in stunning condition. It has the most beautiful honey patina. I just love it so much. And it's nice because it is a bag that is a little carefree, not completely carefree, because again, the Vaquetta leather does carry all the way to the bottom. There are no feet. But due to the fact that it is vintage and it already has this nice patina process started, this is a bag that I reach to very often if I'm not sure what I would like to do with my other bags, because as you guys can see, they are rather loud. So it's nice to have a go-to monogram piece in your collection. And you will see I only have uh, three monogram pieces at the moment because I did sell a lot of them when I was going through and deciding which bags I use and which I don't. So this bag is very special to me. So my vintage monogram Alma PM. And next, possibly my favorite bag of my entire collection. And that is a bold statement. If you guys know me, you know which bag I am referring to. And that would be the beautiful monogram mirror 
Alma MM in silver. This bag is such a stunner. And that is the best word to describe this bag. I can explain to you the two items that I own, I should say three items, that I own that get the most compliments. My rock studs and my two mirror bags. I mean, this is just, it's absolutely incredible. Um, and again, silver and gold, you can't go wrong with them. So I normally try to kind of plan my outfit around the bag. And a lot of times I'll pick the bag and then pick the outfit. And even more so backing up, I'll pick the bag charm, then the bag, then the outfit. Diluted baby, I know, but that is what I prefer. And this bag just looks very good with cooler colors and particularly black it's just amazing i do carry this bag casually because i do have a loud sense of style and it suits my sense of style but it is amazing for an evening out if you don't mind carrying a large bag that is so definitely my holy grail bag i waited seven years for this piece and it was worth the wait my monogram mirror all my mm and silver So next, moving on to just another part of my collection that are basically odd and end sizes. We covered the Speedies, we covered the Almas, so you'll see that I have several other uh, different styles of bags here. So the next bag I'd like to share with you guys is another beauty, and this is the beautiful black multicolor Courtney MM. This bag is so special, and this bag just screams Ashley, in my opinion. The studs are just incredible, and talk about studs, this bag and my rock studs, amazing. I just can't get over it. So I had had my eye on this bag for such a long time and was very, very blessed to find it, and it was pre-loved, so it already had this beautiful honey patina. This is a bag that I do have to be cautious with and weary of the weather due to all the vaquetta, but still nonetheless a great piece. It matches virtually any outfit due to it being the black multicolor. It has the four feet on the bottom, which are lovely and definitely fits all of your essentials. A very large bag, but practical at the same time. So the beautiful Courtney MM in the black multicolor. Next, we have one of my newer additions that is a very, very special bag and is probably number two of my Holy Grail bags. And the bag we are referring to is the beautiful Dora MM in the Infra Rouge from Spring 2015. This bag, this was another bag that was love at first sight. I saw this and thought, what an amazing twist to the monogram print. I just love it. The design to the Dora is amazing, and the black and the red are just so sexy and sultry. I just love it. And as you can see, when I turn the bag, there's a really nice shine to the canvas. It's just such a showstopper. The black, the design to the handles are just gorgeous. And this bag does have a shoulder strap, which is very useful. So this bag is perfect for travel and fits all of your essentials as well. Carries me through the day and the evening. Have to love the Dora. So the beautiful Dora MM in Infra Rouge. Just making sure I'm covering everything here. Next is one of my most coveted bags, most certainly and that would be the beautiful Adele. There were only ever a hundred of Adele created, which I did get Adele pre-loved as well, but when I saw Adele and saw that she was available, I just couldn't believe it. I had only ever seen this bag in celebrities' closets, and I thought that this bag was a far dream for me, and it's just perfect. It's amazing, and as a leopard lover, I just can't get enough of this bag. I have the bandeau to match. I ended up picking up the flats to match. They are absolutely incredible, which you guys will see those pieces in part two of my Louis Vuitton collection. But I love the pony hair. This is real pony hair. And then the water snake trim, that gold, the S-lock closure. This bag is just so, so gorgeous. It's my favorite to pair with a leopard or black dress. Just so sexy. Another day and evening bag that carries me year round. So the beautiful Adele. Next, we have one of my newest additions that I am so blessed to have. 
and that would be the beautiful monogram V never full MM and she's very heavy because this is my bag of the day I have her completely packed and I do have her cinched at the moment I am absolutely loving this bag this is my very first never full and now that I have it I can't believe it took me so long to get one it's just such a wonderful bag it fits so much and more I can't wait to take it on vacation with us it is just so beautiful and that pink V with the lettering is just awesome such a wonderful limited edition collection that they did so the beautiful monogram V never full MM in pink and pardon my reaching all over the place guys I'm just trying to stay organized and make sure God forbid I miss a bag Next, we have another wonderful bag that I am so blessed to have. And this is the beautiful Palace Chain. This bag is just so classy and screams elegance. I absolutely love it. And I'll just bring the chains around to the front here to show you guys. I love that this bag is extremely versatile. You do have to downsize a bit, but not a whole lot to carry this bag. There are several compartments that keep you organized, which I did do a, an extensive review on this bag. I love the S-lock closure and the fact that you can carry this bag three ways. You can carry it with the chain doubled, with the, tr the chain single, excuse me, for uh, more dressy occasions, and then of course crossbody. The chain is very comfortable and it's just a bag that you don't see a whole lot. And I think flat bags are just very elegant in themselves. So when I saw this bag, I fell in love. And it's the perfect pop of red. I love that contrast with the red against the monogram. So the beautiful Palace chain. Okay, guys. So I think that covers all of my handbags. Now, I am going to include my pochettes because I feel that pochettes can either be an SLG or a handbag and it depends on how you use them. And for my purposes, my pochettes are used as handbags. So let's bring them a little bit closer here. So the first pochette I will share with you guys is another vintage beauty that's about 17 years old. And this is my vintage monogram pochette. And this is not the newer model. This is the old, older model, obviously, since it is vintage. But this bag is more of a beater bag, and I hate to use that term, but it's nice to have a bag in your collection that you can take to the playground with you. You can do those type of fun things and not be worried, because as you can see, this bag has a very deep honey patina to it. But I still love it very, very much. It is a gorgeous piece and pochettes are just lovely because they fit so many pieces in them. So the vintage monogram pochette. Next is probably my favorite of all of my pochettes. This is the Steven Sprouse Roses pochette. I absolutely adore this piece. The Roses collection is one of my absolute favorites. I am hunting a larger bag from the Roses collection. One of these days I will get my hands on the Alma and my life will be fulfilled. <laughs> but this is my go-to. Anywhere we're going that I would like to carry a bag crossbody and I don't want something as elegant as the Palace chain, I reach to this beauty. And I have my crossbody strap inside here. It's just so gorgeous. I love the roses. I think they are incredible. The pops of color, the pops of pink, just can't beat it. So the beautiful roses pochette. Next, we have the perforated pochette in fuchsia. This is another limited edition collection that I had always admired. I just loved it. I do have a few other pieces from this collection and the fuchsia is definitely my favorite color. It's just so unique as you can see. Try to hold it down so you guys can see that. You have the perforations and under the perforations is this gorgeous suede that is in a fuchsia color the lock detail just so gorgeous another pochette that i reach to a lot i just think it is amazing so the beautiful perforated pochette in fuchsia next we have the multicolor pochette plot gm 
This pochette is great for a nice evening out as it does not have a strap as you can see so it is limited to clutch only but it is very very spacious. I did do a video on this pochette featuring what fits inside. You guys would be amazed how much this beauty can hold. Um, I do use it as a cosmetic pouch occasionally but I haven't a whole lot since I got my cosmetic pouch in the PM size. So again, specifically for date nights, very versatile again with its colors and with the black, you can't go wrong. This pocket on the front is wonderful because my iPhone 5 fits in there. So a wonderful piece, very unique, the beautiful Pochette Plat GM in the black multicolor. We are down to my last three pochettes, guys. Thank you for hanging with me. So next is the beautiful Eclipse pochette. I also chose the gold sequins for my pochette. I just love that. If you can see as I move the bag, the sequins just shine. It's amazing. Again, that beautiful zipper pull with Louis Vuitton Paris. I love this piece so much. It is just so classy. Again, with the calfskin leather. And if I don't want to carry my Speedy and I would like to just have a nice little shoulder bag, again, normally for a night out, I reach to this beauty, especially with a nice slim black dress. This is the way I go. So the Eclipse Pochette. Next, we have the Riveting Pochette. And this beauty is probably one of the most least used bags in my collection. I've thought about selling it a few times, but then I always chicken out because I'll pull her out of the closet and use her and think, oh, I do love this bag. So just a very unique design. I absolutely love it. A really nice um, casual piece that, you know, goes with any outfit. The button detail is absolutely gorgeous. And I do have a video, guys just to mention uh, featuring all of my pochettes that I do go over all of the details and show you guys the interior so I will again link that down below but I love the plate the plate is just gorgeous and of course as I said you can't go wrong with a pochette they just fit so much so the riveting pochette and last but certainly not least we have the beautiful monogram mirror pochette in silver I will hold her to the side so I don't blind you guys. This is literally a mirror. I can see my reflection as I look into this bag, which is very neat. I love that about the mirror collection. I love the Louis Vuitton Inventor on the front. I think it is absolutely awesome. The silver just pops on this piece. Again, this is more of an evening night out. It is an envelope style, so it is very slim, but it does hold your essentials. So the beautiful monogram mirror pochette in silver. So I think that covers everything guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I see that it's 23 minutes long, so pretty long, but again, to go through my entire handbag collection took a little bit of time, and I wanted to show you guys at least a little bit of details and talk about each piece. So thank you all so much for the request. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for part two, which will be my accessories collection, including my SLGs, and then also some pieces you guys have never seen before, like my shoes and things like that. I will probably be doing that video next weekend. I was fortunate enough to get two weekends off in a row, and I do work all week. I have a lot going on tomorrow. I will try to do it, but if not, look for that next weekend. So thank you guys again so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.